Hi you guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am bringing you a grocery haul, a meal plan, and I'm also gonna make dinner with you guys tonight. So I just finished up making my meal plan on this little whiteboard. It's magnetic. I got it at the grocery store um, not too long ago. So it just goes up on the fridge. I can erase it and redo it each week. So we are here on Monday. So I'm making chicken pot pie tonight. Super simple and easy. So I'm going to share that with you guys later in this video. So stay tuned. Um, but what I like to do each week is just plan out dinners for each night of the week and then I will write down whatever ingredients I need from that list on a piece of paper that I can take to the store with me um, and then whatever else we might need, snacks, that kind of stuff, lunch stuff, which lunches are pretty random around here. We don't really plan out lunches. We just kind of like have lunch things and then everyone just kind of has whatever they want on that particular day. But the one thing I do plan is all of our dinners. So those are all planned. And I have not been to Trader Joe's in probably over a year, you guys. It has been so long and fall is probably my favorite time to shop Trader Joe's but just because of all their seasonal stuff they have. Um, as far as like little snacks and treats and like their pasta sauce that is fall inspired. And so I'm super excited to go check it out. Give you guys a grocery haul. So I made my list of all the things that I need for dinner. And then I am just kind of going to wing it as far as snacks and other stuff because it's been so long since I've been there. I want to just go down every single aisle and get all of the fun stuff. But it is super overcast, gloomy. It's been raining all day. Um, and it's just like the most fall vibes <laughs> ever. There's leaves all over our yard and um, I am gonna make chicken pot pie for dinner. So that's like a very fall like, uh, you know, comfort food type of thing. This video is also in collaboration with Brittany here on YouTube. So I'm gonna go ahead and introduce her now and then I will see you guys when I get back from shopping. So like I said, Brittany is also here on YouTube. You can find her channel at Brittany's Beautiful Chaos, but I will have a link for her channel in the description box. But she is also gonna be bringing you guys a grocery haul. So definitely be sure to go over to her channel. I will have her video linked down below as well. And then you guys can get even more meal ideas and some grocery shopping inspiration from her. But she is a mom to four and she also has four dogs. And she does all sorts of awesome videos, day in the life videos, recipe videos, vlogs, decor. She does a lot of videos that are very similar to my kind of content. So I know you guys are gonna like her channel as well. So like I said, links in the description box to her channel and to her grocery haul video. So definitely be sure to check her her out. All right, friends, we just got home from Trader Joe's. I live about 30 minutes from Trader Joe's, so it is now 524. Um, so this is everything in bags. I took four bags and then I ended up having to get one more paper bag from the store, but this is everything. We got everything, pretty much everything on the list. There was one thing I didn't get and then a whole bunch of extra stuff too. So I'm going to get all this unpacked put it out here on the island, and then I will show you everything that we got.
also stopped by Dutch Bros when we went. Berkeley and I went to Trader Joe's and I got a cinnamon swirl latte with almond milk and it is so good, you guys. When it's fall, I feel like cinnamon type flavor stuff like trumps pumpkin flavored stuff in my opinion. So if you have a Dutch Bros in your area, I highly recommend getting the cinnamon swirl latte with either oat milk or almond milk. It is delicious. So I got everything laid out here to give you guys a little haul now. Um, got just a few things over here that wouldn't fit. So apple cider donuts, you guys. Look how good those look. Yum. Okay, then we have a few tricolor bell peppers. We're gonna do homemade pizza night this weekend. My dad is gonna be in town um, and my stepmom visiting because my nephew was just born this past week, so they're coming up to visit. So we're gonna do homemade pizza night while they're here. So I'm gonna chop up some bell pepper and onion and um, do some sausage and stuff for homemade pizza night. We got sliced sourdough bread, um, the pesto chicken sandwiches I'm gonna make. Um, on Sunday, we're gonna use this. I've got some rice cauliflower. This was not on my list. A bunch of this stuff wasn't on my list, but um, I have some like chicken apple sausage I can cook up with some of this rice cauliflower for like lunch. Got some strawberries, some classic potato chips, just the Trader Joe's brand. Got some white bread. All right, then over here on the island, we've got some tater tots. And then this is probably my absolute favorite thing from Trader Joe's. We used to get this all the time. Um, the mandarin orange chicken and the vegetable fried rice. So I'll do two of these packs of vegetable fried rice and one pack of orange chicken. Feeds the whole family and sometimes we even have leftovers and it is so good. So I got two things of the orange chicken, four things of the vegetable fried rice. Quick, easy, super, super delicious. I got two of these three cheese pizzas for the kids, just for like a quick lunch, um, frozen pizzas. Got some Italian style meatballs, and I'm gonna do these with some pasta and this autumn harvest pasta sauce. Earlier I was telling you guys I love the fall stuff that Trader Joe's comes out with, and this is probably my favorite fall thing uh, besides those apple cider donuts, but I thought that would be really good with meatballs, that sauce, and some pasta. And I already have a whole bunch of pasta from Costco up in the pantry. And then these, we always get these whenever we do go to Trader Joe's. The kids love these. They're these little tiny mini ice cream cones. So we got the vanilla and the chocolate chip, these little hold the cone ice cream cones. And I got these for me and Donnie. These ice cream sandwiches are another thing that I get every single time we go to Trader Joe's. I got four boxes of mac and cheese. These are vegan chocolate chip cookies, but Berkeley saw these. They were right by those apple cider donuts and they just look really good. So we grabbed some of those. I got three of these ribeye steaks. I'm gonna do a steak night um, one night this week, as you guys saw on my meal plan. And I'm gonna cook up these mushrooms and some onions to go on top. And we already have a whole bunch of greens, like the power greens from Costco. We already have a bunch of those in the fridge. So we're gonna do a salad that night also. And then I have rolls um, in the freezer, like roadhouse rolls in the freezer. So we'll do those along with that. I got two of these pizza doughs. So you just keep them refrigerated. And then there's instructions on the back how to cook up this pizza dough. Like I was telling you guys, we're gonna do homemade pizza night. So. I got this pizza sauce to go along with it, and then I also got this cauliflower pizza crust too to try out. And then I got this pesto, this basil pesto for the chicken sandwiches that I'm gonna make. I actually got this idea for these chicken sandwiches from a restaurant in Sisters, Oregon. A couple weekends ago, Donnie and I went over there for our 10 year wedding anniversary, and we ate at this restaurant, and they had this chicken sandwich that I got. It was on sourdough bread and had like um, a chicken breast, with pesto and uh, provolone cheese or Swiss cheese, one or the other, and I had tomato and bacon. So I'm gonna make them, I'm gonna try to make them at home, but it had pesto on the sandwich like as the spread instead of like mayonnaise or something and it was so incredibly good, you guys. So that's what that is for. And then I always get this whenever I go to Trader Joe's also. This is the Green Goddess salad dressing. And I like to do salads for lunch. And then on steak night, we're gonna do salad. So I got that to have. 
I got some mayonnaise because we just ran out of mayo. Always have to get these if we go to Trader Joe's during Halloween and it is almost October. So we got these, they're like pumpkin Oreos basically, but the Trader Joe's version of Oreos is called JoJo's. So we got those, of course. I got some red seedless grapes. Two things of raspberries. We got some provolone cheese for those chicken sandwiches. Got two things of unsweetened almond milk. Two things of chicken stock. I got some seasoned pizza cheese. This cheese is so good. Homemade pizza night is gonna be popping with that stuff, it's delicious. Got two things of bananas. Two things of eggs. I'll get those put into the egg container. Got some Pirate's Booty. Well, I guess it's called White Cheddar Corn Puffs, but same concept as Pirate's Booty. And then I got these little treats for myself. I always get these dark chocolate peanut butter cups whenever I go to Trader Joe's. And then the kids got these little treats, these little um, tiny gummy bears. They're like super teeny tiny gummy bears. So they each got a little pack of those so that is everything from Trader Joe's all right you guys we are in the next day now I'm sitting here editing the video this grocery haul video oh it's right here and I realized I skipped right over <laughs> this chicken so I am filming a little clip here to add in real quick but I got this um, lightly seasoned chicken and I got this to use in like salads and wraps and stuff for myself for lunch. So now I am going to get all of this put away and cleaned up so then I can get dinner started. We can get that chicken pot pie going. I just preheated my oven to 350 well it's preheating right now and I'm gonna show you guys how to make this chicken pot pie so I already had all of this stuff um, super simple this is all you need right here so actually we are gonna pull out some pepper but other than that this is all you need so a can of biscuits whatever brand biscuits you want I just have these Annie's flaky biscuits right here and these ones said to preheat to 350 so that's why I preheated to 350 so we've got those I've got chicken thighs these came in like a three pack from Costco so this is not 4.56 but this is probably I'd say like a pound pound and a half of chicken thighs a small yellow onion a 12 ounce bag of peas and carrots mixed together these are the steam in the bag ones um, but you can you don't have to these are just frozen you don't have to steam them in the bag we're just gonna cook them up anyways um, and then three cans of cream of chicken these are the 10.5 ounce cans so I just have this simple truth organic this is from Fred Meyer or Kroger depending on the area that you're in um, so three cans and then some pepper so the first thing that I'm gonna do is get the onion chopped up and get the chicken rinsed off and chopped up
All right, now I am going to put a little bit of olive oil in a pan. Let that warm up and then I'm gonna add my onions until those are translucent. Now we are gonna add in the chicken. Have that all chopped up. I'm also going to season that chicken with some pepper after I put it in the pan. It looks like acting like we were fiction in a book. Cause it's the way it goes and I will never know why you let me go. Alright, when the chicken is looking like this, I'm going to add in this whole package of frozen peas and carrots now. Okay, now we are going to add in the three cans of cream of chicken soup. Once the vegetables are um, kind of soft and cooked a little bit, we're going to add these in. Okay, this cream of chicken that I used is like a little bit too thin. So I'm gonna add a little bit of flour in here. So if you notice that yours is too thin, depending on the brand that you get, just add a little flour and mix that in. Or cornstarch, that works too. Maybe I'll just add a little cornstarch. Woo! That came out quick. Now we got a mess to clean up. What's new, of course, because I'm filming that's gonna happen. So, depending on the brand of cream of chicken, you might not have to add in cornstarch or flour, but this organic stuff is pretty thin, so. I should have used a bigger pan to begin with. Like, I should have just used this one, my big one, because um, I can put this like straight into the oven, so, but I wanted to use my new pan. <laughs> um, but anyways, once this gets a little bit bubbly, then you can either put it in a baking dish or just start out with a big pan that you have that's able to go into the oven. It just makes it easier. So I'm going to put this, transfer it over into here. I'm going to get it a little bit bubbly, add some pepper. So this is what we're looking like. And now I'm going to open up these biscuits and we're going to put them right on top. And then we're gonna put it in the oven for 20, 25 minutes. friends that is going to be it for today's video i hope you enjoyed this grocery haul and dinner definitely be sure to go and check out britney's channel check out her video also so you guys can get some more dinner ideas and like meal plan and grocery haul and all of that stuff like i said i have her channel and her video linked down below don't forget to subscribe to her channel and if you came over from britney's channel Thank you so much for being here. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my other videos. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.